The secret to standing out and being successful in the world of exploration and knowledge isn't always having a lot of resources or extraordinary knowledge. Have you ever questioned whether it is possible to enhance your intellect without relying on such far-off factors? By demonstrating that our brains are not just a fixed structure but can also develop and transform fully as muscles grow with each training session, modern science has turned a new page and broken down the old boundaries of perception. This leads us to a very important discovery. To make your brain stronger, you don't have to be born with one or be a millionaire. To become a stoic, all you need is determination and some time to study the philosophy. Stoic philosophy is not just a set of principles for how to live a meaningful and happy life, but also a way of thought that helps us train and develop our brains in a way that nothing else can. We will explore 10 Stoic principles that, when applied today, will not only help you excel in controlling your emotions and actions, but will also make you sharper and more confident in any situation. T. The secrets we are about to reveal are not just theoretical lessons. They range from how to stay calm in the face of difficulties to developing a critical and profound way of thinking. But before we begin, I have a challenge for you. Watch the video all the way to the end and use all 10 keys. Just one of these keys can open a new door to your intelligence and creativity. Learn from experience, that's number one. Every step we take in the journey of life not only marks the present, but also sets the stage for future development. Philosophers who follow the Stoic way of life believe that all experiences, from great successes to painful failures, are valuable lessons that can shape our minds and spirits. You have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this, and you will find strength, as Marcus Aurelius, one of the great Stoic philosophers, once wrote. We must develop the ability to observe and think deeply in order to truly learn from experience. This demands complete composure, the ability to look at things logically, and the ability to control our emotions. Allow the light of reason to shine into every corner. It's not just about recognizing mistakes to fix. It's also about recognizing what we did right to continue to enhance. What's more important is being ready to accept every experience. This doesn't mean we have to be happy with every result, but it does mean we have to accept them as a necessary part of the process of our development. A lesson about perseverance, patience, and inner strength can be found in every failure. Every victory teaches us a valuable lesson about gratitude, humility, and the value of sharing success with others. Stoicism encourages us to actively seek out and face new challenges, as opposed to just teaching us how to passively accept and learn from experiences. In this way, the challenges we choose to take on make us stronger as well as wiser. In order to truly outsmart everyone else, we must constantly expand ourselves, surpass our limits. Every day is a new opportunity to learn and improve ourselves, not just through books and lectures, but also through every person and every event we encounter. Look at the world through the eyes of a curious, eager to learn, and ready to accept everything with an open heart. You find the strength to not only face, but also overcome every challenge and become the best version of yourself in this exploration and acceptance of yourself. The second thing is to encourage curiosity. The never-ending pursuit of understanding the universe and our place in it has built the foundation for a life of intellect and resilience. Marcus Aurelius, a Stoic philosopher, once said, Everything we hear is an opinion, not a fact. Everything we see is a perspective, not the truth. The path of curiosity is a journey of self-discovery as well as an exploration of the outside world. Curiosity opens the door to self-awareness, allowing us to rethink our values, beliefs, and goals. When you encourage curiosity, additionally, we learn to accept and enjoy the unknown and uncertainty. Stoicism says that the first step towards deep knowledge and understanding is patience and ignorance. Every time we encounter a difficult challenge or question, it presents an opportunity to enhance our resilience. Also, curiosity is what leads to creativity and new ideas. We make room for creativity 
and find answers to challenging problems by allowing ourselves to be curious about new possibilities. Human connection and understanding are ultimately rooted in curiosity. We learn to listen to, understand, and empathize with those around us when we are curious about them. We make connections with people that are deep and meaningful, which makes our community and the world around us stronger. Not only does curiosity make us smarter in our thinking, but it also makes us smarter in our connections and actions with others. Since the beginning of time, curiosity has been what has pushed people to make progress. It's from a question, or curiosity, that all creativity and innovation come, from scientific discoveries to great works of art. Because of this, curiosity is not just a step. It is the essence of every discovery and achievement in Stoicism's pursuit of wisdom and patience. Feel free to share your personal growth lesson about nurturing curiosity below in the comments. Third, getting better at focusing. Most people struggle to maintain their focus and attention on a task. The average person in the United States is exposed to about 34 gigabytes of information and 500 words every day with breaks happening every 11 minutes, according to a statistic. To get back to our tasks, it takes us an average of 25 minutes. Difficulties absorbing daily information can be caused by diminished focus. Develop and maintain focus in this situation is not only a challenge, but also a necessity. Marcus Aurelius, a Roman emperor and Stoic philosopher, once wrote, concentrate every minute like a Roman, like a man, on doing what's in front of you with precise and genuine seriousness, tidily, willingly, with endearing simplicity, and on freeing yourself from all other distractions. This is not just about honing a skill, but also about cultivating an elevated state of existence that enhances our quality of life. It means that we will stay focused on the task at hand, no matter what it is, and not let the constant noise around us distract us. Stoicism teaches us that by developing focus, we not only develop power, but also engage in a process of clarifying awareness, strengthening willpower, and deepening our connection with the world around us. Consider Elena, a software developer who uses Stoicism in her work. Email alerts, the allure of social media, and the constant urge to multitask are just a few of the many distractions she must deal with. But Elena approaches her work in a stoic way. She makes clear plans every morning for what she wants to do and makes sure that her tasks are in line with her values and goals. By turning off pointless notifications and setting aside specific time slots for in-depth work, she creates a conducive environment for focus. Elena gently reminds herself of the stoic principle to focus on what she can control. Her attention and effort when distracted actions inevitably arise. She sees her tasks as stones on a path leading to a bigger goal of making meaningful contributions to the world. She has to pay full attention to each stone in order to put it in the right place. This mental picture helps Elena keep her focus, not as a strict rule, but as a meaningful practice that links her daily actions to a bigger purpose. In developing focus, we seek to not only excel above those around us, but also to understand the essence of excellence. Focus, from a stoic standpoint, is not just the concentration of the mind, but also the steadfastness of the soul in the pursuit of virtue. It's about creating a life where our actions, guided by wisdom and greater clarity, surpass the noise of the world around us. Expanding your intellect and knowledge is number four. If we think of human understanding as a big ocean, then knowledge, experience, intelligence, and wisdom are the four rivers that feed it. Even though they flow into the sea together, they do so in different ways. Truth be told, when we seek to expand our knowledge and improve our lives, these four streams frequently seem tangled and confusing. Questions like, why do I need to read books? I feel like I was born not intelligent. How can I succeed? And how can I make wiser decisions? are signs of this confusion, but don't worry, they're reasons to celebrate. We can go deep into the vast sea of knowledge on this journey thanks to the power of reading, which becomes one of the most useful resources. 
Reading not only helps us draw from the river of knowledge, but it also serves as a means of connecting with the streams of intelligence, wisdom, and experience. Marcus Aurelius, an emperor and Stoic philosopher, once said in one of his meditations, a person's life is only what their thoughts make it. He used Stoic philosophy to run an empire, as well as to improve himself by reading and thinking. Knowledge is not just a way of life for Marcus Aurelius, it is also a means to achieve inner peace and a deep understanding of the world. Create a diverse reading list with a variety of topics before you start this reading journey. On topics you're interested in, such as science, art, history, business, and many others, you can begin with books, articles, or blogs. To access new perspectives and knowledge, it's important to make sure your list is varied and comprehensive. After getting your reading list, set aside time every day or week to read. Reading not only helps you expand your knowledge, but it also helps you to develop your critical thinking, insight, and empathy. Not only in academic fields, but also in communication and social understanding, these skills are invaluable and make us smarter and more discerning. Consider reading as an act of modern stoicism, not just a means of gathering information, but also an exciting journey that leads to a deeper understanding of the world. With a strong intellect and soul, this is an important step on the path to becoming the best version of yourself. Have you answered the question, why do I need to read books? Take a week to read a book that really speaks to you in any field is my small challenge to you. Are you ready to face this challenge? To accept this challenge, leave your comments below the video. 5. Make your goals clear. If you don't know where you're going, every day is a mistake. It's always a mistake to let someone else decide what you really want for your future if you don't decide what you want. The feeling of control you'll get from taking charge and choosing where you want to go is something most people never get to experience in their whole lives. Why don't more people take the time to really figure out where they want to go if setting goals is so important? Lack of knowledge about how to establish clear goals is part of the reason. Self-awareness is where setting goals begins. The foundation for understanding what we want and what we can achieve is self-awareness and self-reflection. According to Stoicism, goals aren't just wishes or dreams. They're maps that show us the way at every turn in life. Each step becomes transparent when the goals are clearly defined, which helps us move from point A to point B with awareness and determination. Setting goals, on the other hand, takes discipline and patience. Clear goals, like the path to achieve them, require careful planning, with each step calculated and assessed. True freedom is found in this process through discipline, which not only frees us from external restrictions, but also helps us overcome internal restrictions. Finally, we can grow soul sustainability by making clear goals. The goal is a lighthouse that helps us not lose our way in every challenge and failure reminding us why we started and encouraging us to continue forward. This challenge helps us not only overcome challenges but also rise above them, becoming not only better than others, but also the best version of ourselves. We are almost at the point where we are superior to other people. You are clearly ready to start the process of self-improvement because you are here. But this isn't the end of our journey. I have another challenge for you. Like and share this video. And don't forget to watch it all the way to the end. Sixth, ask thoughts. It's okay for the smartest people in the world to look like they don't know anything. Ask why until you get it if you don't understand. This simple approach can help with irrationality and things that don't make sense. It's not just a scientific way of thinking. It's a way of life. We are led by questioning and seeking the truth. Each question opens a new door to freedom and knowledge. Why do I act this way? What does it really matter to me? Should I be living by my principles? When we ask ourselves questions, we make room for self-reflection and self-improvement. We change ourselves and our lives to reflect the stoic values of reason, moderation, and justice. Seneca, Marcus Aurelius, 
and other Stoic philosophers not only taught knowledge, but also lived by the principles of questioning, self-discovery, and sharing their understanding. He didn't just share his knowledge. Like Seneca, one of the great Stoic philosophers who wrote letters to Lucilius, he also posed challenging questions that made him and his readers think deeply about life, ethics, and purpose. He understood that the foundation of intelligence and ability is the courage to ask questions and the patience to seek answers. Asking questions is not just a way to expand knowledge, it's also a way to face and overcome fears. We not only increase our knowledge, but also become stronger and more adaptable in our thought and action when we are honest about what we don't know and seek understanding. Asking questions encourages us to constantly seek out new information and challenge our presumptions. It helps us understand that there is no end to knowledge and that true understanding comes from constant questioning. So live by the Stoic philosopher's advice. Ask questions and seek the truth in all situations. Through this process, we not only learn about the world around us, but also about ourselves, expanding the boundaries of spirit and knowledge. The best version of ourselves can be achieved by using this secret to trick not only others, but also ourselves. Keeping a growth mindset is the seventh thing. It's important to keep a growth mindset. Imagine that you lose your job during a very bad economic downturn and have little chance of quickly finding a new one. Pressure builds from every direction as your financial situation gets more difficult. Remember Marcus Aurelius's advice in this situation. What stands in the way of action becomes the way. Start by taking a fresh look at yourself and finding skills and interests you've never thought about pursuing before. You decide to learn a new trade that has always piqued your curiosity, but you have never been brave enough to try. For self-study, practice, and even accepting temporary jobs with low pay to gain experience, this process is challenging and demands a lot of time. Remind yourself that difficulties and failures are just steps on the path to becoming wiser and stronger every time you encounter them. Instead of seeing these challenges as obstacles, see them as chances to practice patience and perseverance. After months of effort, you finally not only find a job in a completely different field, but you also find a new passion and purpose in life. In this situation, Having a growth mindset helps you not only overcome challenges, but also develop yourself strongly. You break the problem down, seek assistance, apply new knowledge, and step-by-step step overcome it. Every step forward is a win, and it gives you more strength to believe in your skills. You not only succeed in solving the problem through this process, but you also develop a strong belief in your ability to adapt and learn. A growth mindset is one that views every failure as an important step on the path to learning and development rather than as a sign of incompetence. The essence of Stoic philosophy is to constantly strive to live a meaningful and purposeful life, not just to survive. Keep your mind open and ready. Number 8. You become a lifelong learner and enrich your knowledge with diverse viewpoints and points of view when you keep an open mind and are willing to consider new perspectives. Stoicism values this ability to adapt to change while maintaining steadfastness and self-worth amidst life's storms. Marcus Aurelius encouraged us to learn from everyone, even our enemies, with his wisdom and courage. He made it clear that everyone and everything has lessons to teach. This necessitates an open mind and the ability to read and understand new perspectives without fear or prejudice acting as a barrier. Courage to accept and adapt to uncertainty is essential during this process. Stoicism not only teaches us about courage in recognizing our limitations and recognizing the boundaries of knowledge, but it also teaches us about patience and humility in the face of challenges. Epicus stressed that the changing world is never-ending with every moment being an opportunity to learn and see the world from a new perspective. Change and development are a constant process in life. The key to not only surviving but also thriving in this complex world is flexibility in thinking, the ability to accept new perspectives without losing one's essence and values. The key to building a meaningful, free and happy life is to keep an open mind, 
which not only helps us face challenges creatively, but also in general. This is how we, through courage and wisdom, not only learn but also lead and enrich our own and other people's lives. Be ready and keep an open mind. Leave a comment below to encourage yourself and promise to do it. 9. Tell other people what you learn. A powerful way to enhance your intellect and add to society's collective knowledge is to share what you have learned with others. This not only helps individuals develop and deepen their own acquired knowledge, but it also creates a ripple effect that encourages development and a spirit of learning within the community. It shows that sharing is more than just an act of knowledge. It's also an act of humility and gratitude. For example, let's look at Jack. He is a project manager in the IT field. He decides to extend his positive influence by sharing his problems with co-workers in addition to applying lessons from Stoic philosophy to his work to solve problems calmly and patiently. He sets up workshops where people can explore how to apply Stoic philosophy to work and life management, creating a receptive and encouraging workplace. Jack not only helps co-workers improve their management skills through sharing, but he also sparks in them a desire to learn and grow as people. This makes sharing knowledge even more important. Not only does it help the individual, but it also helps the community as a whole to develop. Sharing knowledge is an end-to-end -end process through which we not only expand our intellect, but also expand our circle of influence, creating a positive chain reaction in society. This is how we show intelligence and wisdom, not only by amassing knowledge, but also by sharing wisdom and growing as a community. Act with patience is number 10. Patience is not just a virtue, but also a strategy on the journey to become wiser and superior to others. Stoicism teaches us that everything requires time to develop and achieve, from a seed to a tree to effort to success. In our fast-paced world, there is a lot of uncertainty and challenges, so patience is a challenge. Self-strength comes from having patience. It enables us to act, access deep understanding, and find creative solutions, while also allowing us to maintain composure in the face of the allure of instant results. People who are patient don't just sit around and wait for things to happen. They actively watch, learn, and grow during the process. Accepting that things might not go as planned and seeing each challenge as an opportunity for growth is a key component of practicing patience. When you consciously accept patience, it turns into a powerful tool that can help you keep your soul calm in any situation. You give yourself the opportunity for greater understanding when you practice patience. You begin to realize that without effort and time, nothing worthwhile is achieved. You can use this not only for big goals, but also for everyday interactions with people. Patience helps you listen and understand others deeply, which ends up building genuine and lasting relationships. The key to getting smarter, not only intellectually, but also emotionally, is patience. Patience helps you stand firm, think clearly, and act meaningfully in a world where people often seek immediate solutions. You can overcome negative emotions, achieve autonomy, and ultimately make smarter decisions and become smarter. Dear Friar, we have come to the end of a journey through 10 stoic principles that will not only help you gain clarity in life, but also help you become the best version of yourself. Remember that real strength comes from controlling our reactions to the challenges life throws at us. Do not be afraid to show your support for us if you find these lessons helpful. Please share this video with friends who you think will find it helpful. Comment below on which Stoic principle has affected you the most and what you have learned from it. If you are unsure of what to do, just say, I am ready to become the best version of myself. Together, let's build a community that values individual growth. Most importantly, don't forget to join the channel so you don't miss any of our other journeys. Discover the Stoic philosophy's power and apply it to your daily life. To become the best versions of ourselves, we need to face and overcome any challenge together. Thank you for spending time with us before the end of the day. As we continue our journey with open minds, don't forget to watch the videos that are shown at the end of this one. 
Remember that every challenge is an opportunity to grow. Thanks, and we'll see you in the next video.